Hey guys, it's Rebecca with Brand True, and this video is about flavor versus aroma in naming. What do I mean? It's it's a metaphor. Okay, so we talk about the attributes of names sometimes, and since I like metaphors, it occurred to me that some names that are more concrete, they're more transparent, we talk about that in our framework, um, those are names that have flavor. You can chew on them. They're straightforward. They're things like a blind company named Three Day Blinds. You know what you're getting. Other names are more evocative. They make you feel something, they hint at something. Those are names that have aroma. You get a little whiff and you say, oh, and you lean in and you want to learn more. And there's a million names out there in both camps. The one that just popped into my head so much thinking about aroma is Supreme, which is, you know, sneakers and streetwear. Like, you don't, you don't know anything about what it is, but you feel something. It, it, it draws you in. And then, of course, sometimes names do manage to be both. That's always great when they are. And the example that came to me of that is there's a baking company that make flowers and things like that called Wholesome because they're healthier products. And I think that calling that kind of company Wholesome, it, you feel something, but it's also, there's flavor. It's telling you what their positioning is as well. So a name doesn't have to do both. It's pretty great when it does, but it can be a helpful way to evaluate them. Hmm. Does this name, can you bite into it and totally know what you're getting? Or is it more pulling you in with an aroma? That's what I think. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.